Hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of Let's Get Creative. So this week we've explored Ichiro the dinosaur and thought about dinosaurs in our art. Today, what we're gonna be doing is making dinosaurs that stand up. And again, this is inspired by our beloved sculpture, Ichiro, that's in front of the museum right now, and that will be with us until November. So for this project, you're going to need a pencil, a piece of cardboard, thin cardboard, or if you don't have that, you can actually just use an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. You got it? So before we begin, I'd really like to thank the city of San Jose um, and their cultural affairs grant for supporting the art programs you're seeing through our virtual broadcasts, as well as throughout the years their funding has enabled us to provide arts programming for many, many visitors. So thank you again to the city of San Jose for making this all possible. All right, so like I said, we're going to make dinosaurs that stand up. And we're gonna take a look first at the sculpture Ichiro. Now, if you want some more information about Ichiro, you can see my Monday's broadcast um, on our Facebook page. Okay, so let's take a look. So here's Ichiro standing tall and proud in front of Children's Discovery Museum. How do you think the artist, Marianela Fuentes, was able to make him stand up? We're gonna think about creating our own dinosaurs that stand up and thinking how to balance them. You see that Ichiro has a long tail, a long neck, but kind of more in the center, you see its legs. Its legs are really helping to balance its body, but also the head, the neck, and the tail also play a part in this balancing act. So we've talked a lot about shapes. Um, we talked about shapes on Wednesday and thinking about drawing outlines of shapes, how lines make shape. So here, here thinking about Ichiro's head, neck, and body and tail as a shape. You see the black outline? That's one part of Ichiro's shape. And we're gonna think about this when we do our drawings that will become our dinosaurs that stand up. Now, do you see the black outlines of Ichiro's legs? We're gonna be making our own legs for our dinosaur shape to stand up on. You'll be thinking about this as we go through our project. So today, you're going to be sculptors, just like Marianela Fuentes, who made the sculpture. So a sculptor is someone who builds with their hands and makes three-dimensional artwork, artwork that usually stands up and takes up space. Okay, so are you all ready? So remember, you're going to need your cardboard, a pencil. You can use a marker if you like, but not necessary, and scissors. Now again, if you don't have cardboard, you can use paper. All right, you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the first step. What we're gonna be doing is drawing a shape of our dinosaur body. So you're gonna think about the head, the tail, and kind of the belly area. And we're gonna draw that first as a shape. We're not going to add any details just yet. You're going to just think about just the outline of your dinosaur head, belly, and tail. And we're not even doing the legs yet. So think about that and think about what kind of dinosaur you're gonna draw. What I'm gonna do is show you just one example. It doesn't have to be like mine, but how to draw that head, body, and tail. All right, everybody ready? So on your piece of cardboard, you're going to take either your pencil or your marker and you're gonna draw the dinosaur 
head, belly, and tail. So I'm drawing the head, neck, tail, down to the belly. You see it didn't add any legs. And all the way back up to where I started. Everybody got that? So now, how do you think, well, how do you think your dinosaur is going to stand up? It needs some legs, right? So how are you going to draw the legs? Say if you have four legs on your dinosaur, you're going to draw two legs at a time. And I'll show you an example of the first set of legs. Now you'll notice that this is the side view of your dinosaur, also known as the profile. So this is my profile. But what you're gonna be doing for your legs, you're gonna think about the legs as if you were to see them looking straight at the dinosaur's head and down below. You see the two legs in front of the dinosaur. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. It almost looks like you could think even like a little pair of pants is how I like to think about creating the next shape of the legs. So I created kind of a straight line for the top of the legs, another straight line, another straight line, a little bit of space, and down. So I made my first set of legs. Now you're gonna to wanna to make your second pair of legs if in fact your dinosaur has four legs. So I'm just doing the same set of legs. Has everybody got that? All right, are you ready for the next step? Fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is take our cardboard that we drew on or your piece of paper and we're going to take our pair of scissors and we're going to cut out the shapes we drew. So you can start anywhere. You're going to cut along that line that you drew. See what I'm doing? Just taking my scissors and following that line. Keep on going until you have your dinosaur head, body, and tail cut out, okay? And again, like with all these projects we've done this week, I'm just showing you how to build and to create a shape that you can decorate afterwards any way that you want to. Right now we're just building the sculpture. So does everybody have their shape? Dinosaur body shape, head, belly, and tail? Great, are you ready for the next step? So do you remember those legs we drew? We're gonna cut those out and we're gonna go along the lines. So make sure you cut out along those lines. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah, so don't forget to cut out this little area, but if there's not enough space, it's too small, that's okay. You can just leave it like this. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna cut mine out though, because I have enough space, so I don't cut into the artwork. All right, keep on going. Got my one set of legs. 
I'm gonna work on my other set of legs. All right. Now, if you need some help cutting this cardboard, sometimes it's a little thick, right? You can ask an adult to help you out. Or again, you can do this in paper. All right. So you should all now have your dinosaur body, one pair of legs, and another pair of legs. So how are we gonna get these legs onto this dinosaur? What we're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors, you're gonna flip your legs upside down, and you're going to cut a little slit. Don't cut all the way through. You see that? Don't cut all the way to the end. Stop about midway. And you're gonna do the same for your other pair of legs. So these are called slits. Next, you're gonna look at your dinosaur and you're gonna think, huh, where do I wanna put my legs? And how do I wanna put my legs on so that my di a dinosaur can stand up and not fall over? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some legs here and some legs here. But first, in order for the legs to attach, you're going to need to cut a slit. And again, it's not a very big slit. See that? And I'm gonna cut another slit over here. Do you see that? Great, does everybody have two slits on their dinosaur body? All right, you're ready to test your dinosaur out. So what we're gonna do with the first set of legs, you're going to, you see this slit and this slit, you're gonna slide those together and fit them. Like so, slide them up until they lock. See how they're in place? And then, you're gonna grab your other set of legs and you're gonna do the same. So, you see that? Push them firmly and be gentle, but push them firmly. And look what you've got. So you can see the legs from front on and then the dinosaur profile. Now, are you gonna try and test it out? Let's see if it does stand up. You ready? So mine stands up, how about yours? Now, if yours does not stand up, you can readjust. You can cut another slit in the dinosaur somewhere else and see if the legs will fit there. And you can try that over and over and over again until you get it just right. All right, everybody, so do you have any ideas of what else you can do to this dinosaur now? What I think I'm gonna do is color it with markers, maybe practice those lines that we spoke about on Friday, and you know, decorate it in any way that I can, and then I might make another dinosaur friend. You can make as many as you like, and you can even try practicing this same kind of method, the way you put the dinosaur together to make it stand up, to trees and bushes and anything else that you'd like to. So, I hope you enjoyed today's art lesson on how to make dinosaurs stand up. I look forward to seeing you again next Monday at 1130. Happy Friday, everyone, and have a great weekend.